When we started CARE in 2007, really the mission was just taking advantage of the energy that the employees already had and the community that they already fostered internally and providing a mechanism to really give back. It really does epitomize the, the vision and culture of the firm. It's, it's community, it's independence, it's innovation. It also created enthusiasm with employees to know that the leaders within the organization were supporting this. At Woodruff Sawyer, that's always the best result when you let the people that work here determine really what the priorities are and how best to get at them and you stay out of the way and let them do it. They really care about what they're doing. Code Drive, over 100 codes donated, just fabulous, amazing. There is nothing like the heart of a volunteer. I have found the best success is in bringing the most out of somebody or the heart of that person. If they feel that they just step in, you know, dipping their toe in. There's so many facets of care, and if you assign certain people that really say, you know what, I know me, I know the kind of person, the commitment that I can provide. Can I just be the person that takes photos? Absolutely. Your part is a huge impact. Take a step away from our work, go do this, which is for a greater cause, and it's encouraged throughout the organization. That makes it okay, and then when you're there with fun people, it's all other fun people, and it attracts more fun people, and it just makes it a fun event. We're feeding over 140,000 people, but volunteers are really a backbone. If you look at our donation records over the past 15 or 20 years, you don't see very many companies and, and, and people working at companies who have been more generous. Here at the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, our mission is to find a cure for blood cancer. They were very engaged in team and training and in working together. You could tell that it was really important to them and they enjoyed doing this together. What we do is really give kids a safe haven in the community. We're also providing them with art, academics. We can't do what we do each year without that kind of support. It's very rare to see an organization actually put on a bake sale on the streets of San Francisco. So you get a lot of people just curious and they come up and ask, especially if they're curious about someone in a cupcake outfit. And then it kind of takes on a life of its own and you get more and more people helping and, and you can create more and more change. Drop me an email with what you'd like to participate in. Amanda, <laughs> Tiffany, and I will coordinate all of this and start getting communication out. Mark your calendars for the hottest event of the early summer. <laughs> and we'll see you then. I might have to take in the sides a little bit. I'm not, I don't have a muffin top. Big sale this way. Come get your cookies and cupcakes. Lemon bars, brownies, sugary goods. Take it from a cupcake, they're awesome. This is really great. These guys are very serious about this. I love, we've got the gingerbread man over here, the cupcake man down there. I'm really grateful that everybody put all this time in and energy to come out and do this for our families. Your banana bread. The gorilla apparently works in an office across the way and felt compelled to come down and join the party. The Oregon Care Committee consists of five members. However, every employee has either participated in fundraising drives or has volunteered in activities in our local community for the past seven years. I'm not really doing anything groundbreaking here, but by these small acts, little by little, with every dollar raised, with every, you know, coat donated, every child's life impacted, we're making small changes to the community, to, you know, the world.